Welcome to another connection here on TKO8 Television. I'm Dennis King, my co-host, uh, not able to be here today, Tabitha Odegaard, so we'll have to just wing it on our own here today. We appreciate you joining us each week as we bring uh, different organizations and people into our studio here to talk about what's going on around our broadcast area, and, and a lot of times it's things that I don't know about and perhaps you don't know, so we hope that you gain a lot of information from our shows that we do each week. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a moment and talk with a lady from the Harrison chapter of Circle of Friends. For 22 years, Harrison Parks and Rec has been making a positive impact on our local economy with the Community First Bank Sports Complex, the Brandon Burlsworth Youth Center, and the First National Bank Soccer Complex. A wide variety of sports tournaments are possible, and thanks to these quality facilities, Teams, coaches, family, and fans from all around the state and region have helped boost our local economy by $2 million annually. Harrison Parks and Rec, making an impact for our kids and community. Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison is the go-to place for all your denture services. We know how to get good results. We save you time and money because our lab is on site. A dental office you will like and trust. Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison, next to Harness Boots. Just look for the big red boot next door. Call today. You'll be glad you did. Our first guest on Connection today is Helen McAllister, and she is president of the Harrison uh, Regional Chapter of uh, Circle of Friends, and we appreciate you coming in to be with us today. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. So, us. And you've got your fall color on I today. do. I do. <laughs> and it is fall weather. It is we, fall. We need those sweaters and jackets out there today. It turned cold on us. Um, you know, people hear about the Circle of Friends and the connection with the Arkansas Children's Hospital, but why don't you tell us a little bit about Circle of Friends and, and what the organization's all about? Okay, Circle of Friends actually began right here in Harrison with uh, three ladies, uh, Jackie Barker, Catherine Nance, and I can't think of the other lady. Uh, and they were empty nesters sitting around deciding what they could do to help children and uh, started an organization called Twigs. Uh, and then later it was changed to Circle of Friends. So it's been 30 years. Wow, 30 years. 30 years that yeah. we've been raising money for for the children. So those three uh, women came up with the idea yes. of the Circle of Friends, and, and it was to support the Arkansas yes. Children's Hospital. So now we have uh, 13 uh, different places in Arkansas, different chapters in Arkansas, and uh, ours was the first. We wow. Harrison started first. And, and roughly, how much money have you raised? Uh, we've raised in the last thirty years. We've raised twelve million dollars. Yeah, uh, twelve million. Dollars. Twelve million. That's a lot of money. And all going to the children's. All hospital? going to the children's hospital. Yeah. That's all of the chapters together around right. Arkansas. Right. And uh, we've committed two point five million for the hematology oncology clinic, and uh, that will be good because. Uh, it is going to be twice as many clinics for the doctors, and it will provide rooms for the family members and an outdoor healing garden uh, for the patients to visit during treatment. And the outdoor healing garden, nobody else can go in there but the kids because they don't want infect the kids sure. to get infected or sure. anything. And I've seen the garden. It's beautiful. Wow, it's nice. really nice. Of course, uh, <laughs> Most of you in the viewing audience know that Arkansas Children's Hospital is in Little Rock. Uh, it is renowned for child care around the world. Uh, people from all over the world bring children here with rare diseases or a need for medical assistance. And uh, it's something you think of Arkansas and you think about Arkansas. Well, we've, we've got the number one retailer in Arkansas with mm -hmm. Walmart. We've got the biggest trucking company in J.B. Hunt. We've got the largest poultry and uh, producer in the world is Tyson's. And we've also got the Arkansas Children's Hospital, which is renowned for what they do there. It's, yes. it's amazing. And, and people think of Arkansas, uh, and they think of, of child care uh, there in that particular spot. Well, you got a big event coming up here. We're going to talk yes. about it a little bit. Uh, we're having an a la carte November 19th at the Quality Inn from 6 to 8 p.m. And it is, uh, we have invited 15 restaurants to bring a sample of their food, enough for 200 people. Mm-hmm. 
And we have uh, Rob from uh, KHOZ. He's going to do the entertainment. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we're going to have a silent auction. So we've got all kinds of items, a deer lick, a porch swing, uh, tickets to Branson, just a great variety of things that you can bid on. So the the silent, silent auction. So silent you write down auction. the bids and then yeah. everybody has a chance to go up higher, yeah. obviously. Uh, the um, the a la carte thing, you, you have so, do you have a copy of that little? I do. Uh, let's, why don't you hold that up in front of you there. Uh, there's a, a very nice looking, says Harrison a la carte for the uh, uh, Arkansas Children's Hospital. And then you open it up and then inside and it, it lists uh, all the different restaurants that are participating uh, in the event. And uh, it's, that's very nice. I, I received one of those here at the station myself and was looking at it there. And uh, I, I think it's uh, it'll be a fun event also. Oh, yes, yes. So it, it'll be a good time for um, a night with music and good food and friends. Now, the 19th, and, uh, is that a Saturday? That's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday, Tuesday okay? night. It's yeah. a Tuesday night from Tuesday. 6 till 8 p.m. Yes. Okay, very good. And there will be a cash bar available. Okay. And um, the, the attire for the evening is business casual. Okay. And, of course, good. all the proceeds go to the hospital. To the children's hospital. All of them. Uh, to purchase a ticket, do you need to purchase one ahead of time? No, you can get you can one at the, door at the door if you want. They're $50 a person, or you can contact Ross Slavic at 870 688 9997. Okay, so that's, you, you can. You could uh, purchase one ahead of time if you wanted to, but you could actually just go and purchase one at the door that, it, that purchase evening. Purchase one at okay. the door, yes. All right. You know, uh, of course, this is a fundraising event, the a la carte. It's a fundraising event for the Circle of Friends for the Arkansas Children's Hospital. But what if somebody just wanted to, uh, well, maybe donate a silent auction item or just donate some cash? How that, would they do that? That would be just wonderful. And all they would need to do is contact me, okay. Helen McAllister, at 870 Two zero four four five five nine, okay. or Sherry Humphrey, eight seven zero five two seven seven two seven seven, and we'd be happy to make arrangements to pick it up. Okay. All silent auction items are welcome, and all donations are welcome. Do you have a? Uh, this is not on our question list, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to ask you. Do you have a website? The we do friends? have a website. Okay. Uh, Harrison Regional Circle of Friends. Okay. Okay. So now, does this have this information? Is it on the website, or do you uh, know? we're working on getting it getting, up and getting running? It, okay, yeah. okay. But you do have a website. Yes, that we tells do. about Circle of Friends. Yes, and contact people and so forth. I'm sure. Um, so, can anyone become a member? Of yes, Circle they of Friends? can. Yes, and uh, again, you can contact Sherry Humphrey. Same number eight seven zero five two seven seven two seven seven or me eight seven zero. Two zero four four five five nine, oh. or you could go on our website, Harrison Regional Circle of Friends. And so, um, so anyone can join, regardless yes. how old or young, uh, right? Uh, men, women, anyone. That's right. Anyone can join, and it's uh, twenty five dollars uh, a year a person, or you can get a fifty to. Uh, two hundred dollar to be a lifetime member if okay. you want to. To be able to do. Now, uh, the circle of friends. Uh, I always think of them as doing just for the children's hospital. Is that all they? I mean, that's all you support. You don't. In, no other. No other facility except it. So it's all you put all your energy into I raising guess. money for circle for the for the, uh, for the hospital. Ar Ar but also, the hospital is the burn. Is the is the number one burn place in Arkansas? Uh -huh. So if you're an adult and you get burned, mm. you would end up at Children's Hospital. I did not know that. So it's not just for so, children. I see. I always thought it was just for children. So. And the other thing is that once a child goes there, they can always go there. They are always patient. Ah. Uh, so now, if tell me this, um, I know people have to go there many times that don't have money or maybe don't have insurance. They do they did turn anyone down? No, they never. do not turn anyone never. down. So, so regardless of, of your economic status or that's whether you right. have insurance or anything, you can go there. That's right. Well, that's a wonderful thing. I mean, that's yeah. that's amazing um, that, that you that we have a facility in the state that is so heavily supported and 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 uh, they have some of the renowned doctors oh, yes, that, yeah. that are at the, the hospital there and do some tremendous work. Um, okay, so the big event coming up soon is, again, the a la carte, which is coming up 
uh, November the 19th. Again, that's on a Tuesday evening, and it'll be from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Quality Inn Convention Center uh, out here by across from the Harrison Country Club there. Then, uh, let's talk about, you've got another event coming up. Yes, we've got a couple of events coming okay. up in December. Okay. December 6th and 7th, we're going to be wrapping presents at the Bling Thing. Uh, at the Fashion Mall, and you don't have to buy your presents there. You can bring them in, and we'll wrap them for you for a donation. Okay. So if you don't feel like wrapping, bring them to us, and we'll take care uh, of them. You'll be in the Fashion Center Mall we'll up in the be, front? Yes, part, right at right the front. Right at the front when you come right in. So I can drop off the gifts? Yes, Come back and pick them up? Right. And, okay. Yes. And just give us a donation, mm -hmm. and you'll be good to go. Okay. Uh, the other thing that was coming up is Santa's Workshop on December 14th. This is a new event this year for us, um, but I think it will be a lot of fun. We are having uh, children make ornaments, mm -hmm. three or four, mm -hmm. so it's going to be a make and take. They'll be able to take things home. They're going to be uh, taking pictures with Santa, listening to stories, uh, decorating a cookie to eat and t or take home. They can eat it there or take it home, and we're going to make be making... Um, Christmas cards for the children that are actually in the hospital so that our cards will go to the children in the hospital. Oh. Firemen will be there and fire pup. So it's going to be a big day with a lot of activities. Okay, now this uh, also is going to be at the... No, uh, this is at the Christian... Um, First, Christian, Christian, First Christian, First Christian Church, Church. Thank you. Okay. Yes, at the First Christian Church from 9 to 12. Okay. And uh, we'll have more information. I think Christine's going to come, yeah, come back talk and talk a little bit more specifics bit more about, about that. Yes. So you do have those two. You got kind of three events really kind of coming yes. up. You've got the first is is your a la carte, which is the one in November here, and then you've got the uh, two uh, two things going on in December, uh, the fourth and the fifth. Of course, the the wrapping it of the says, presents. I'm sorry, those were the wrong dates. Oh, is it's that right? The sixth and the seventh. Okay. Sixth and seventh. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me change that on my note here. Now, we don't allow you to make mistakes like that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Sixth and seventh. Okay, so because we'll put that on our bulletin okay, as good. well, and we want to make sure we give it the right yes. the dates. Okay, so December 6th and 7th is actually the uh, bling thing, which is at the mall yes. for wrapping presents. And then uh, the uh, 14th. Uh, is the workshop. Santa's workshop. Santa's that's workshop. Right. And that's, that's at right. uh, First Christian. Yes. Okay. We got that. Is there anything else that we need to talk about? Uh, well, what's, uh, what about the motto? Arkansas Children's Hospital motto, I think, um, is would be good to tell. The motto is, until no child ne needs us, we need you. Very good. Yes. Very good. Well, that's... Uh, Circle of friends, I, I, ever since I've lived in Harrison, moved back here, grew up here, but ever since I've moved back here, uh, I've known the circle of friends and, and how they're, they're so active in the community in raising money. And, and you just mentioned a while ago, circle of friends in Arkansas, the, all the chapters are over $12 million, mm -hmm. which is a lot of money when you're talking about getting donations and having little events like they're, they're doing here, $50 here and so forth. So if you happen to be out there, maybe you've used the Children's Hospital or perhaps you may have to use it. Uh, take your child there someday, or the burn center, regardless of your age. Uh, remember Circle Friends, because you, you certainly need the financial help, and if they can support you either through donations or um, giving auction, auction items. items and so forth, it'd be good for you, and, and yes. uh, it, it's a it's a great thing that you're doing. Helen, thank you so much well, for coming you on so the much show. For uh, me. We appreciate, appreciate it. it, and thanks you, for your hard work in Circle of Friends well, and your you. contributions to the Arkansas Children's Hospital. Thank you very much. Helen McAllister, president of the Harrison Regional Chapter, the uh, Circle of Friends. Don't forget about them, uh, especially here during the holidays. Uh, many children have to spend the holidays at the Children's Hospital for many reasons. So if they've got a handout, put something in it. Help them out as best you can. Stay with us. We'll be back on Connection in a moment and talk with some ladies about what's going on at the Boone County Library on Connection. Harrison, Arkansas, a town where business is personal. A Health Mart town. Pharmacist Tara Wilmot owns her Health Mart pharmacy. Here, Tara offers free one-on-one -on -one prescription medication consultations, providing information to customers in a way that makes them feel comfortable, not confused. Expert knowledge, personal attention. It's what makes Tara a Health Mart pharmacist and Harrison a Health Mart town. 
Your town is a Health Mart town. So visit your locally owned Health Mart today. Start spinning, twisting, and pumping into a healthy lifestyle 24 hours a day at the Fitness Club. With all of the best equipment and personal trainers, you're ensured a workout that's fun, effective, and motivating. At the Fitness Club, you can enhance your glow, relax your mind, and refresh your body all in one convenient location. So what are you waiting for? Start spinning, twisting, and pumping your way into a new you today. Enhance your lifestyle and reach your goals at the Fitness Club, Highway 6265 North in Harrison. Back on Connection here on TKO8 Television, Dennis King, my co-host, uh, not able to be here today, Tabitha Odegaard, but we'll just kind of move along. We've got two ladies in the studio for the second half of our show from the Boone County Library, and Ginger Milan and Ginger Schoenenberger. Correct. <laughs> got it. Very good. See, I mean, I got two Gingers, but the last name's a little bit different because of who they are. But they, we appreciate both of you coming in. And Ginger, Mylon, thank you for contacting me. You're and, welcome. Uh, of course, we get your newsletter and have forever, I guess, uh -huh. and done things for the library right. for many years, for many, many years. And so we're glad to have you here today. But, you know, we people think about the Boone County Library and all the things they have going on, but sometimes they have so many things going on and you don't catch everything. So we want right. to kind of cover some things here today. Uh, let's talk about the Children's and Teens Department. And you guys just, just we're just doing a casual <laughs> deal, so you just talk okay. any way you want to. All right. Well, we do have a wonderful teen and, and young adult and, and also a children's department. And this next month in December, mm -hmm. December the 3rd, uh -huh. we are going to have a, a gingerbread building contest. Wow. And it's for ages 9 to 17 and all they have to do is call or come in and register Okay. and they can come in and make gingerbread houses and they'll be judged. Neat. Yes. That's and nice. We, and we put them on display. Right. They're on right. display. I don't the know. The whole month of December. Yeah. Oh, they are? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of fun. That's, that's fun. And, and you, do, uh, you do a lot of different programs for kids uh, uh -huh. through the year, don't you? We have you? story time every week. Well, I thought you did. Uh -huh. You used to have story time. Every yeah. Tuesday and Wednesday at 10. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's also educational. But uh, we have a very loyal following mm -hmm. of of uh, parents who bring their kids and grandparents. Now, what age group of children in basic? That is uh, two to nine. Yeah, two to nine uh -huh. in that range. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it can be. That's I good. mean, some of the the crafts are are geared more for the younger children, mm -hmm. and it's more like a preschool type um, setting. But any children, any kids can come in and sit uh -huh. and listen. Yeah. I, I've got to ask you this question. It's not not a question here, and I'm not going to put you on the spot or anything, but. With all the changing and going to technology and the World Wide Web and, and uh, electronic books, and so, how has that changed the library? And maybe talk a little bit about it. Oh, very good. Um, it really hasn't changed it that much as far as our patronage, uh -huh. people coming. And actually, we've had more people come in for library cards so they can come in and utilize all of their devices ah. and check out. We have seven Kindles okay. that people can check out, mm -hmm. and um, we also have 17 branches in our Overdrive Consortium. It's where we have 17 different libraries, and each library purchases so many books per year. Okay. And then you and I or anybody else can go on our website, and they can go in and they can check out eBooks, wow. and they can load them onto their own devices. Very good. All right. Well, I knew you had to be state of the art. Yes, I knew you had and to we have over ten, over ten thousand titles between the seventeen libraries. Really? Yes. Wow, nice. Yes. It, it is, you know, the evolution of the electronic media uh -huh. and, and the, uh, it's just it's it's amazing yeah. anymore. You know, everybody. I mean, not saying people, but people still like to touch and feel oh, yes. a book. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they just do. I mean, it's just the way it is. And and uh, but but a lot a lot of the younger generation, because of what their the mm -hmm. computerization in schools so early anymore, and even preschool. I mean, you know, a lot of children out there that not even in preschool yet, their parents get get them involved and mm -hmm. may have a Kindle or some kind of mm -hmm. electronic advice mm -hmm. and to because they enjoy it. It's yes. a, it's a different type of thing, and then they don't really know any different. That's it's right. just it's, they're starting off with that mm -hmm. electronic age type items. That's right. It's neat. Okay. Um, programs for adults. 
Well, that's what I do at the okay. library, and uh, we uh, have had some really neat programs in the past, and we have one coming up later this month okay. that I think will be just uh, one of the best. It's an astronomy program. Astronomy. Uh huh. Okay. We have a retired astrophysicist from NASA. That's a big word. It <laughs> is, and I'm, I'm just now getting to where I can spell that's it correctly. That's very good. Uh, but I have to think about <laughs> it. He, uh, in his retirement, has gone on uh, a, a quest to educate the, the public okay. about uh, astronomy, mm -hmm. and he has this huge RV mm -hmm. that uh, I think on the side it's painted, look up to the stars, and he travels all over the country doing programs for families, children, uh, at, in libraries and schools. Okay. And the program that he'll present for us, it's uh, November 21st okay. at 530. Uh, it's called Astronomy for Everyone, Size and Scale of the Universe. Okay. So he will come into the library in our meeting room and um, He'll do a program there, and then uh, we'll go outside for the, the second portion of the program. And he has a very powerful microscope, uh, not, not a microscope, yeah, tele telescope, yeah, that he and has. everyone will have a chance to look at uh, the night sky. Okay, and he'll explain yes, obviously he what will. they're looking at. And he says that uh, he, can, he can make this understandable for even children. So, uh, you know, it's not, it's not from his uh, astrophysicist perspective. It, right. He's he's on a quest to educate the public. Right. So it's in layman's terms. Right, uh, layman's so everybody, terms. Everybody yes, can understand. yes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> he's, he will be doing over two hundred programs this year alone, uh, and and in the week that he's at the Boone County Library, he's also going to be in Faulkner County, uh, Garland County. Uh, I noticed he was in Texas this summer in the town where my nephew lives. Really? And so he just everywhere? Everywhere. Uh -huh. So it's, it's really, he's retired, it's kind of a hobby. Yes. And because of his education and background, right. it's, it's a natural for him. Right, right. He's trying to pass it on to... That's right. He's, he says it's a mission to uh, generate interest and to foster scientific literacy in the general public. Well, he's, I'm sure he's doing that. Uh -huh. if so we, we've got a lot of people ask about it, okay. and I think... So it is free of charge. Yeah, everything at the library is free. Library is free. free. Don't charge free. We anything. don't charge. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Free mm -hmm. is good. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> free, it is. Free is good. Uh, do you want to talk about Food for Fines program? Sure. Okay. We actually have a program going on now, right now, until the 21st of December. Okay. And it's called Food for Fines. Mm -hmm. And what it basically is, is let's just say that you lost a book, you don't know what you did with it, mm -hmm. and it was under the cushion of the chair. Well, all you have to do is find that book, bring it back in, and you can bring in canned goods to pay for that late fee. Oh. Okay. okay. It's basically late fees that we were, were taking the, the Can. cans for. And uh, the cans will be going to uh, not only the sanctuary, but also share and care. Okay. So, so we try and support them every year. Right. That's and we've nice. done this for several years. Yes. Do you get quite a few people that utilize the a program? A lot. Do you really? A lot. <laughs> and we are so thrilled because we don't want anybody not coming in just because they have a, a small fine. Right even a large fine on their account. We really right. want them to come in and utilize the library. Sure, mm -hmm. you're there for that's the why people. We're here. You're there for the people to that's come right. in and use it, not mm -hmm. quit using it. That's right, that's exactly well, that, why we're here. Well, that's a good thing, and, and, and particularly this time of the year with the holiday season upon us, mm -hmm. uh, collecting food, non-perishable, I would yes. assume, mm -hmm. uh, food products, and then giving them to sanctuary, and, and of course the uh, share and care helps everyone that, mm -hmm. that needs type of things. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, I think that's a good, good gesture on mm -hmm. the library part and and the end result is that some of that food is going to go to families that probably need the they food need the desperately. Uh -huh. so Very much so. You know, uh -huh. Especially with the economic conditions today. It's been a little shaky it over has. the last few years and uh -huh. people have yes. lost jobs and whatever they and the cost of living still Medicare goes up. And, uh, yeah, with that's everything right. going on with that thing. Uh, so that's that's, that's a right. very good deal. Um, friend, when's your next book sale? I always get your deal coming up here. Do you remember? Yes, it's December seventh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's Pop I Label Day. On the <laughs> uh, no, it's on a Saturday. So it, every year, the Friends of the Library—they are the most awesome volunteer very group nice. in America. Uh -huh. uh, they they have four book sales a year, and this is one of them. It's their holiday book sale. It's one day, December seventh, from nine a.m. to two p.m. Okay. And <clears throat> they will have a lot of quality books, 
for sale that uh, would be nice gifts mm -hmm. for people. Okay. So if you're looking to, uh, you know, buy something for someone special and you don't have a whole lot of money to spend. It's a great place to shop. It's a great place to shop. Yeah. It well, is. We've got about two or three minutes. But Friends of the Library, okay, tell, just quickly, what it, it, it's an organization is helps, tell me what, what's that mean? <laughs> They're a 5013C okay, organization. Mm -hmm. And um, basically what they do is they're there to support the library. Okay, okay. All right, and whatever that means. Okay. We have some of our members come in and they do some work around the building. They collect books. And they take books out to the area preschools. Okay. They deliver books to home-bound uh, patrons. Mm -hmm. um, you just kind of name it. Any, any area whatsoever in the library that there is a need, they're the first ones that are there. Fine. And they raise thousands of they dollars. They do. Yeah, right I knew they did. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're an auxiliary for your for the library. Right? Right. Very much so. Right. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Yes. And their volunteers are there every day. Yep. Yes. People there mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. there, that mm -hmm. is very good. They now, have a big book sale in the spring and in the fall. Right. I knew right. they had two uh -huh. big ones uh -huh. every year, but uh -huh. I had no faith. You know, yeah. So this is a more of a holiday type yes. thing. Yes. Yes. And then they have another one in June. And their whole purpose of that is to get books into children's hands. Uh -huh. They sell books for 25 cents. Mm, and wow. if you have a library card, it's 10 cents. Wow. <laughs> and that's good going into the summer months. <coughs> yes, kids very books much. Read. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Um, what uh, other displays? You got some things coming up here in the future? We have, uh, I'm, I'm sure you know that our library is the old security bank building. And it has this wonderful mezzanine mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. which does. is perfect for displaying art. Right. And so every month we have some sort of special display there. <coughs> this month we have an artist, uh, her work, her name is Myrtle Lazaro. <coughs> she actually lives in Kansas City, mm -hmm. but uh, her uh, grandparents homesteaded in Newton County, and she's retired from the Kansas City Art Institute as an instructor. Mm -hmm. So she has a studio in Newton County. Okay. And uh, she does etchings, uh, mono prints, and her work is Fabulous! Uh, it's a very special exhibit. Okay. So, um, you know, now when will that be there? It's there until the end of the month. Okay. So uh -huh. anytime, go down. Yes. Okay. Yes. Up on the mezzanine. Uh, yes. And then sometimes we have special displays in our display cases. Uh, last month we had uh, breast cancer awareness. Okay. This month we have um, uh, books on display that can be checked out, and they're all related to space okay. uh, since we have the astronomy yeah. program. Okay. Well, uh, but okay. next month we have Paper Moon Studio on display okay. uh, and we'll have the gingerbread houses on very display. Good. But every month it's something so different. So people just need to come down and look around and see right. what you got. Yeah. I mean, you've right. always got things going on. And yes. uh, well, we appreciate you both coming in today uh, and talking to us about the library. Thanks, Ginger, for you're contacting welcome. me. And Ginger, thank you for <laughs> coming so with welcome. us. Uh, you do a great job. We have a very nice library for a size community that we serve we do, here. Yes, and we it's, do. Uh, thank it's you. perfect. And, thank and you. to the uh, friends of the library, thank you, all of you out there, very much. for helping uh, keep the library going and, and all your many, many hours that you donate. Thank you so much. Come back and see us again okay. anytime something important come up. Right. Give us a call or we might even come down and do a little That'd something or you can come you. in and be on the show. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on Connection this week. We hope we brought some information out to you. Join us every week as we have different organizations and people come in and give us a call if you'd like to come in and be on our program. Until next time, we'll see you on Connection. Local television worth watching. KTKO Channel 8. Harrison. For 22 years, Harrison Parks and Rec has been making a positive impact on our local economy with the Community First Bank Sports Complex, the Brandon Burlsworth Youth Center, and the First National Bank Soccer Complex. A wide variety of sports tournaments are possible. And thanks to these quality facilities, teams, coaches, family, and fans from all around the state and region have helped boost our local economy by $2 million annually. Harrison Parks and Rec, making an impact.